Hello friends, welcome to my channel Media Creation Club with the latest updates. In this short video, I am going to show you how you can upgrade your PC Windows 7 to Windows 11. It's very simple and easy, you can do it by yourself. But sometime our computer hardware not matches with the uh, software, that's why we are facing the problems that Windows 11 uh, cannot uh, install in your PC but there are some methods that you can proceed that and then you can uh, still install Windows 11 in your PC so as you can see this PC is uh, currently running Windows 7 service pack 1 uh, that is very old model so I am going to upgrade this PC Windows 7 to Windows 11 so we will see this procedure that how we can download the windows and then how we can can make the bootable windows and then after that how we can install the windows all three main steps you can see in this video so before we continue if you are new in my channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel press the bell icon for the new update so let's begin to our topic Okay friends, so first of all you open your Google and then type there download Windows 11. I just type here download Windows 11. And then you can see the first official link, the microsoft.com. So we just go to the official Microsoft website. So uh, I will put the link in description so easy you can just click and then download. So for example I just giving the all steps from the starting. So now you can see here this one is the Windows 11. So how this one is the instruction how you are going to download or how you can select your operating system all everything. So you can see here the select download we just click this arrow now you can see here the windows 11 multi edition iso so we click this one and then click the download then choose language so you can choose here your language what language you want so i just uh, select the english united states and then confirm then here is asking the uh, bit rate so we just select the 64 bit download then we just click so now you can see here our windows is downloading so while our windows is downloading we just uh, uh, download the software that call name is rufus so we just click the uh, google and type there rufus and then click enter the first option is Rufus IE click that one and then download here you can see here this one is the latest version so we just click the Rufus uh, 3.20 version click that one you can see our software is already downloaded so once our windows uh, complete we will continue okay friends so our windows is already downloaded and then rufo software also we downloaded ready so what we need to do we plug our usb pen drive in our pc and then open the rufus now you can see here the new interface appears on our screen so here you can select your device to uh, the usb device already i plugged in so automatically detect and then here you can select the your windows so what we need to do we just click the select so here is our windows 11 so we just select the windows 11 and then click open so now you can see here we select already windows and then you can see here the standard windows installation you can select here the operating system and then you can see here the partition scheme mbr or gpt so you can select your uh, hard disk type uh, and then bias type that uh, your computer is uh, 
MBR or running with the hard disk MBR or GPT. So I just remain the MBR BIOS or UEA5 system. So I just leave. If you want to change this one, you just click here or click the uh, your computer Alt E. So it will change automatically. So I just remain the same thing and then click start. You can see here this one you need to check all the boxes and then click OK. So once you click OK, it will asking you the your hard drive or uh, your pen drive if it got any data it will all destroy. So you must be careful before you are proceeding this system uh, formatting. So I just click OK because I am going to install the windows. So this system will complete the our make our bootable USB pen drive. So we just forward a bit once the complete this all the Windows 11 process. Okay friends, so our bootable USB is done ready. So we start our procedure to install the Windows in computer. So let's go to the PC. Okay friends, so now we plug in our USB pen drive. So we already installed. <coughs> Okay friends, so we already done the USB pen drive, so we plug in the laptop. Then shut down the PC. So once we shut down the PC, we need to find the BIOS key <coughs> of our PC laptop. So normally the BIOS key is F1, F2, F8, F10, F12 or delete key. So you find out your PC, uh, it's depend on your brand so uh, you can continue your BIOS setup. So my laptop is F1 so I just click the F1 once I st start my PC and then click the F1 to enter the BIOS. So I am entering the BIOS setup. So now I need to select here, if I zoom in my PC, I put the camera. So now we set up the startup and then click the boot. So first I select the first boot is USB and second is internal hard drive. So I just save and then enter. Once our laptop is restart, you can see here the boot from the USB, we press any key to start our windows so we continue so we select the language and then time currency and keyboard method so i just uh, leave the default united states and then select the next then click install now so here is asking the product key so if you have product key you can put here enter here the product key and then click next but I don't have any product key so I just click the I don't have a product key I select this one and then choose here operating system uh, Windows 11 home Windows 11 education Windows 11 Pro so you can choose here the operating system uh, depend on your choice so I just select here uh, Windows 11 Pro and then click next and then I click the checkbox this one then click next then I need to custom install Windows only advanced so I need to format my hard disk and then make the partition or whatever so I just delete then select the partition the main partition and then select delete if you want to create the new partition you can select the here new partition to add the another partition but i'm not going to uh, add any create any partition so i just click continue next so our window is copying now okay friends so now you can see all the steps is going to done after this finishing up is our computer will be restart so we just wait the this setups will going to complete 
now you can see here the our system is rebooting you need uh, after restarting you no need to press any key so it will automatically continue the windows setup so you can see here the asking the press any key to continue but you no need to press any key so it will continue the installation updates the windows so now you can see the windows is booting Okay friends so here is asking the connect your wifi or internet so i'm not going to connect uh, my internet or i just like the i don't have internet then here is asking the connect now quickly get started on your device so i not connecting the internet just continue with the limited setup Okay friends so now as you can see our windows is already installed in our pc so we just click the get started then you can see the check connection so we need to connect the internet and then things so almost our internet is because i am not going to connect any internet connection now with this pc i just show you the the complete installation of the windows 11 so that is our windows 11 if i show you the desktop icons so that is our windows 11 then if we can check the properties so you can see here this one is the uh, windows 11 and then you can see here the installed RAM is 4 GB normally the Windows 8 is uh, uh, more than 8 GB so hope you like this video if you like this video don't forget thumbs up please subscribe my channel press the bell icon for the new update so uh, let's see you in the next video thank you